So um, today I wanted to talk about how our calendars or our schedules um, can be a container for your tasks and activities. And by thinking about it as a container, um, it requires a little bit of decluttering every once in a while, but it will allow you to pick the best things to work on in any given day. So rather than trying to squeeze in everything you want, um, everything you need and everything you don't want into your day, you can think of your day as the limiter, just like a drawer or a cabinet would be. It's um, the limiter for how many things you can say yes to. It can be really freeing to start looking at time this way. It's not about squeezing in or saying yes to everything and then wondering why you have to stay up past your bedtime to get it all done. It's because you're thinking about it backwards. The day is this big and you get to choose how much you're going to put into it. Um, and so creating it from there really allows you to firm up those boundaries when you say yes to too many things. So when there's only so many hours available, what is an a reasonable amount you can expect to get done? And it plays on what we've been talking about over the past few weeks, you know, how to prioritize what to do, how to align what you're working on to create or working to create with um, your schedule and how are you going to save time and energy with routines and action stacks to help you maximize that limited amount of time we all have every day. So these concepts work together to help you fill that calendar with the things that light you up and recharge your energy while not overlooking the stuff that you must get done. Because the must get done, that's the stuff that we should turn into the routines as much as possible. So you don't have to really think about it and you get as efficient as possible with them. What about saying no to over half of the boards or activities you are involved in because they just don't really suit you anymore. So we are looking for items in your calendar or on your to-do list that are things you've outgrown. You don't like doing them anymore. You don't enjoy them. You're good at it and they love you, but you don't really want to do them anymore. We're going to work on saying no or resigning or completing your term or finishing the season and then not re-upping. Okay. This can be hard. Once you've identified the things you don't want to do anymore to complete your term or or your commitment um, can be really hard to stick with it. But I promise you, you're going to feel so good when you complete it well. Um, and then you free up time in the future a little bit. So think about that. Are there things you can actually get out of doing without causing issue? Sometimes we volunteer for one committee and it's just tell you find someone to take over or you take on a task because someone's on vacation and you failed to ever give it back. So um, think of those things. Think of things that you intended to do and you just never found time. They didn't rise to the level of importance you needed them to, to pull the trigger on. And so look for those kinds of things. Also look for activities that you can delegate. Maybe there's another household member or employee that could work on that thing for you. So what do you need to put in place so they can do it well without you? This is where taking a little bit of time to train pays off in the long run because you'll save hours uh, over the long run. And definitely it's time to get rid of activities you never wanted to do at all, but someone else thought you should. Those things that others volunteer you for or someone mentioned and you tried on for size and realized it wasn't for you um, or got talked into because some friend or colleague was also doing it. Let those things go. You don't, you're an adult. You do not need to make excuses for why you're quitting things. It's just not a priority anymore, or you're not getting what you used to out of it, or you decided you have, for me, I've given up a lot of things that used to be more physical activity because I have more and more uh, limited mobility the more I try to do as I age. And so to maintain a nice amount of mobility in the long run, I actually need to do a little bit less physical activity than I used to so that I can maintain that longer. So don't apologize for needing to let go of certain things if it's for your own benefit in the long run. 
Um, now there will be some activities if there are um, kids involved and you are in charge of chauffeuring them or you're responsible for someone else's activity like an employee. Um, but there's, there's ways to get creative. What can you do to make the supervision or transportation less time consuming in those situations? Are there ways you can rotate your responsibility for parts of it or um, arrange other things? You know, as kids get older, maybe at Uber uh, to and from certain practices makes more sense if your time is, is valuable. So doesn't necessarily have to be you always participating. It could be you coordinating or um, uh, scheduling for the others and then not having to actually do the activity. And then the last way to look at decluttering things from your schedule is um, look at the frequency of the activity. Is it something you've been doing every week that you could go to two times a month or once a month and still get some enjoyment out of that activity, but you don't have to go all in anymore on it? Um, is it something that you'd actually like to do more frequently, but for less amount of time? Um, so for me, that's walking. Like I try to walk every day, but I don't go necessarily walk for two hours anymore or whatever I used to do, something crazy like 90 minutes or something. Um, so just know that you have the final say and how you spend your time. And by looking at it from this different perspective that it's possible to do things you love, you just have to eliminate the stuff you don't and fit it into the container of your schedule. So maybe some things you're like, I'd love to do that, but I'm kind of committed for the next three months. So I'll look at it again next quarter or things like that are perfectly okay and don't cause you to feel um, deprived of the opportunity. It just helps you prioritize those opportunities. Okay. Looking for micro bits of time to save pays off in the long time, in the long run. It's all of it counts and incremental improvements mean exponential results in the long run. So, all right. I will see you next week. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, comment, turn on your notifications and tell all your friends. Um, and I will see you next week. Have a delightful day.